guys, what's up? It's Bex and I'm back with another video. Today we're going to be diving in to this new palette that I got. This is the Morphe 35Y Aurora Scape. I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, close <laughs> enough. Look at these gorgeous shades that we're gonna start playing with. Try out something for spring. Do a little something different, little pastels, little spring moment. So let's get right on in. So first things first, we're gonna go on in with the NYX. This is the Micro Brow Pencil, and this is gonna be in the shade, if it will ever focus, which it probably won't, whatever. It's in the shade Cool Ash Brown. So what have you all been up to lately? I have done some spring cleaning. I have cleaned up the upstairs here. I actually got a new desk, so we'll have to do a beauty room tour soon. And I really, really like that, the, the new desk and just the spring cleaning. It really, I don't know, just has really cleansed my soul. So my ex came and got all of his stuff out of my garage, which made me so happy. I have space in my garage again, and the energy that is in my space is just ah, so awesome. It feels so good. I also finished painting upstairs here, finished painting the gray, so you probably notice that there's not this weird, awkward space in here where it was white, and that was because I had ran out of paint when I was painting this room and then ADHD, and then story of my life with putting him first before the projects in my house, as well as actually putting him first before me. So now your girl's back and she is doing things for herself and for the house. It's really exciting. Now we're going to set our eye base. And of course we are using the P. Louise this is the base in the shade Rumor 0.5. Now to put this on, we're gonna be using just a flat brush. And sometimes when you get too much, it's really easy to just go in and move it to the other eye. boys are a little unruly today. I wanted to take them to the dog park. However, it was really windy here in Vegas today. All right, now that we have the base on, now we need to set it. We're gonna be using this shade right here from the palette, Intuition. And of course we're using a very fluffy brush to set our eye look and have a nice foundation for us to work with. Okay, I'm gonna have to be back because Gus has to pee. Apparently I never hit record, so I put on shadow shields and we're using the shade here, which is Lucid. And I was all discombobulated because the dogs were in my face barking to go outside. What are you guys excited about this spring? Anything happening? Anything going on? Birthdays, vacations, anniversaries? Now we're going to go in with this shade here. This is extra sensory. Same brush. I think I'm going to use positive energy, which is this really pretty, the 
this really pretty yellow color here because I need some positive energy in my life. Just popping it right underneath the eyebrow bone. So I'm gonna take this really purpley shade here. So we're gonna take it with this dense a point brush here. We're just gonna push a little bit in that V. Just give it a subtle little little color moment there. Ooh, Bob, and you're gonna fall, sweet boy. Just lay down. He wants so badly to be up here with me and lay with me. He's been, he has been a mama's boy today. All right, now just using a brush like this, just to marry these two. So they're blending seamlessly together. So we're gonna use this shade here, Stargazer. And we're just gonna use our finger and we're gonna put it down with our finger for better color payoff. Wow, this is really pretty actually. I didn't know when I started this video what I was exactly going for, but I'm happy with this. And let's do like a little pop of like this really pretty peachy shade calm. Just kind of buff out that color right there. All right, let's do, let's do purple on the bottom. Okay. All right, big reveal. Ready? Ta-da! that beautiful crisp line right there oh yes that is why I love shadow shields I think I'm actually gonna use a little bit more of that really pretty shimmery shade stargazer I don't think she had enough of her moment she needs just a little bit more All right, now we're gonna be trying out more of liquid blush and a little bit of highlighter. So we're gonna be trying out this Milk Makeup. This is in the shade Halo. And we're gonna try the other one, and this one is in the shade Flare. So it's more of an orangish peach. I mean, I think it's okay. I just, I don't wanna blend it with my finger but I don't know how, how else to blend it. Cause obviously this way is just, I feel like I'm doing more like tugging at my skin than, but it does give like a subtle, just a subtle little glow. And for liquid highlighter, we're gonna use Benefit in the Dandelion Sky, no, Shy Beam. This will be interesting. highlighter. Let's try High Beam by Benefit. <laughs> I 
Obviously this is very old and it needs to be thrown away. the heavens we're gonna use the winky Lux. this is just one of their little ph lip balms that will apparently change to the color so what do you guys think it's an interesting look i think it's pretty though i think the colors actually really complement each other really well and it really does look good with my eye color surprisingly I've never really tried blues with green eyes but you know I'm digging it though and my eyebrows my eyebrows are on point today and the blush while well, it wasn't my favorite I wanted to let the eyes do the talking and let the rest of my makeup be more natural and just something fresh and fun Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Be sure to leave a comment, give a thumbs up on this video, and if you really like this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel before you go. I have a lot of other videos and I'm always taking requests on what you guys wanna see. So, until next time. What do you need? Cause you have food, I don't know why you're begging me. We are gonna have a Bob moment. Cause Bob wants to sit up here with me while I do my makeup.